Chaka boots started off as boots for polo players way back in the 1940s. And then after that, they started being used by British soldiers fighting in the desert during World War II. Fast forward several years, and they became a fashion staple because of their versatility and their timeless design. Not to mention, they're comfortable, they're durable, and they can be worn across all the seasons. Well, today I'm bringing you four different options that have me struggling to pick a favorite. But I did pick a favorite, so stick around to find out which ones I like best. Welcome to Stray Reviews, I'm Lee, and I'm here to help you find the best men's lifestyle gear and apparel. And today, I'm looking at four great Chuckaboo options that fall right around that $200 to $250 price range. I'm talking about some great brands like Red Wing, Astroflex, Danner, and Rhodes. Now, each of these boots today are casual, they're recraftable, and they each bring something unique to the roundup. If you're like me and you like to wear sneakers because of their comfort, but you find yourself wanting something a little more versatile and not so dressed down, then chukkas can easily become like a daily go-to. A good pair of chukkas are gonna give you a whole lot of wares. And just in case you're wondering, full reviews of all these boots are gonna be available in the near future, so be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss them. Also, if you wanna take a closer look at any of these boots, I'll leave a link to them down in the description. And just before we really dive in with this roundup, I wanna remind you about my Stray Reviews, My Favorite Things newsletter. It's a monthly list of my favorite gear and apparel, and it's sent to your inbox. The sign up link is down below in the description. All right, kicking off this roundup is the Danner Pine Grove Chukka and Roasted Pecan. These boots have a full grain leather upper that has uh, like a new buck quality to it. They have a soft leather lining and they have a removable ortholite footbed. They come with a Danner non-marking slip resistant wedge sole and they come with a steel shank too. These boots can be resold by Danner should the sole ever give out on you. However, I'm not really sure about the method of construction since there's no welt, there's no external stitching, and my guess would be that it might be like a combination Blake stitch and cemented construction, since the website really doesn't say much. These are made in the USA in Portland, Oregon, and they sell for $240. I'll have to be honest with you, these boots actually kind of grew on me. At first, I thought they were just too kind of like construction-y and uh, a little too casual for an everyday boot for me. But after a few wears, I really started to like them. I also like that they came with two additional sets of laces so that you can dress them up to your personal preference. Also, out of all of the boots today, these are definitely the most comfortable. And this footbed, even though it's pretty thin, it's surprisingly comfortable. And I can have these on my feet all day without pinching or hot spots or uncomfortable rubbing. However, I did have to go up a half size to get that comfort. The Huckberry website says to take your usual size. And for me, that's 10. I'm a 10 on the Brannock device. But when I did that, I felt like my foot was kind of stuffed in there. But when I went up a half size, they were like completely different shoes, and I really do love the way they feel. This boot is great for anyone who wants a casual chukka boot that feels great all day. And they might even want something that they can knock around a bit and uh, maybe do a little bit of work in them. Next up, we've got the Rhodes Footwear Tyler Chukka Boot, and the color here is Hickory. The Hickory pair that I have here comes in a waxed cowhide upper. It has a leather liner and a slightly padded but non-removable footbed. They have a wedge sole that is a Miramec polyurethane outsole that claims to be durable and slip resistant. These have a welt construction, looks like a Goodyear welted construction to me, and they should be able to be resold by most cobblers. These come with round wax laces that complement the boots nicely, and a slightly leather padded tongue they also come in two other colors, which are suede. 
The tithers are made in Lyon, Mexico, and they sell for $195, making these the least expensive of today's roundup. I really like the look of these chukas. They carry a, a bit more sophistication than the danners, while still putting off kind of this casual heritage vibe. The leather welt combined with the wedge sole looks great with the low profile uppers. I do have a bit of a sizing complaint with these though. The website says to go down a half size, but sizing down to a nine and a half was just plain painful for me. I was much happier with my normal Brannock size of 10. These chukkas do run narrow, so you might want to ignore the sales page's sizing recommendation and just get your normal size. Another thing to note is that the hickory leather lightened up quite a bit at the creases as soon as I walked across the room. This does give the boots a lot of character right away, but you might be someone who likes to preserve the color that's presented on the website and so um, I just thought that I would mention that to you. It's not a knock, it's just something worth mentioning. These boots are for anyone who prefers a welted boot and an elevated style that's still relaxed and casual. Hey, if a Goodyear welt is your preferred method of boot construction, then tap that like button for me. Okay, number three in the lineup today is the Red Wing Heritage Weekender Chukka Boot in Copper Rough and Tough. These Red Wings come in oil tan leather from Red Wing's own SB Foot Tannery in Minnesota, and it's my favorite smelling leather today. These are unlined except for the textile lining in the toe box, but they do have a super comfortable removable footbed. These have a wedge sole that's very similar to the Rhodes, they are stitched down constructed and can most likely be resold by your local cobbler. The Weekend Chukka is, of course, made in the USA and they sell for $250, making them the most expensive shoes in this roundup today. Of all of the Chucks today, these are the lightest. They're quite comfortable as well, though they are just a tiny bit snug. The website recommends going down a half size. I did. And even though they're just a bit snug, it's not so much that I would consider going up a half size. These look really great and they're probably the most casual looking of the four today, maybe tying with the Danner. And I say that they're casual looking because of the round work boot laces. They're well built and really everything that you love about Red Wings, but in a package that can be worn with an Oxford and Chinos. Like the Rhodes Hickory, the copper rough and tough leather takes on character almost instantly. A simple walk across the street will turn the leather from brown to amber, orange, at every place that the boot bends. If you're wanting your chukkas to look like they do on the sales page, then they won't look that way for very long, and you might be disappointed by that. That really doesn't bother me at all, but Again, I just thought it might be worth mentioning. The Weekender Chukka is great for anyone who loves the Red Wing heritage materials and construction and wants a light, casual, great looking boot for just about every day. If you have a favorite Red Wing leather, then can you let me know what it is down in the comments below? Okay, last but not least is the Aster Flex Brown Flex Chukka boot in tobacco suede. These chukkas come with some beautiful suede uppers. In fact, I think that they're even nicer looking in person than they are on the pictures in the website. They have a soft leather lining and a soft removable leather footbed, and they even come with an extra pair of laces. These come on a crepe rubber outsole and are made with a type of stitched down construction. The Brown Flex is made in Italy and sells for $215. Of all of the chukkas today, I'd say that the Brown Flex carries the most sort of traditional chukka shape. They kind of remind me of the ones that Steve McQueen wore in Bullet, and they do kind of have that classic style and appeal. Actually, these are probably my favorite looking of the Roundup, and they're also the most versatile in my opinion. I could see myself wearing these with everything but like maybe a proper suit. And for those of you who aren't a fan of this tobacco suede, they're also available in five other colors. And fortunately, they're also the best fitting of today's boots. 
The Huckberry size says to take your usual size. I did that. I got a US 10 or a European 43 and they fit great. On top of that, they're nearly as comfortable as the Danners. The only thing that I'm not like a big fan of here is that they do sit on a crepe rubber sole. And that's only because these soles tend to gather all the dust, all the lint, and all the pet hair, and make that all stick to them. <laughs> and I just don't care for that. It's obviously not a deal breaker though, because this is actually my third pair of Astroflex shoes. The Brown Flex is great for anyone who just only wants to own one pair of chukkas that fit great and go with everything, and they lean toward that traditional chukka style. Okay, I'm gonna tell you my favorite of the roundup today, but if you're getting some value out of this, then I wanna invite you to subscribe to the channel so that you won't miss future reviews. Okay, the bottom line is that all of these chukka boots bring something great to the table. And it kind of just depends on what you're looking for. My favorite though, is the Asterflex Brown Flex. The reason for that is I just really like this traditional chukka style. I also appreciate that I was able to get just a great comfortable fit the first time. And they could be worn with just about everything. Hey, I'm curious, out of all of these boots today, which one is your favorite? Let me know down in the comments. And if you wanna see some great mock toe boots, then check out this video here. I wanna thank Huckberry for sending me these boots for review. My opinions are my own. And I wanna thank you for watching. I'll see you over in the next video.